Hey guys, this is Rob and welcome to another Revit electrical video. This will be a short video just to show some topics that have been brought up by some of the viewers about multipole circuits and how they appear in panel schedules incorrectly. So for example, what we have is a branch panel P1 here and in here the circuit description you can see we have a three phase fan and it is indeed taking up three poles of this panel, 20 amp trip, three pole, but the load only shows up on phase A. The full 3kW has not divided appropriately to the other ones. So we're going to tackle this issue and hopefully you will learn how to deal with this for your projects. What I'll do is take a look at this little plan I have set up with a wall and I've got one panel in here. We can look at it. It's just a 208 three-phase panel. I've got it set up with 42 circuits. I have some loads that I'm going to connect to it. Now the first one I've already connected. This unbalanced, I'll call it, 208 three-pole load. So let me go ahead and show what this looks like. It's already connected to panel P1 onto circuits 1, 3, and 5. If I hover over it with tab, I can create an arc wire. And let's go ahead and just do this for clarity. Get an arc down here. So we can see what we have, and let me tag it. I've set up tags for circuits and panels. And I'm just using the built-in, out-of-the-box Revit devices here, fixtures. I've got some receptacles, a high-voltage fixture, high-voltage receptacle. We've got one they call a fan. And I've just been tweaking with them and getting them balanced and unbalanced. You may end up with some kind of a connection that is unbalanced and what I mean is it looks like it's connected properly. I mean, because you look in here, you see a parent load. Everything looks proper. You, you cannot tell in your model that the family is incorrectly made. And that's what's deceiving about this. We actually have to get into the family editor to take a look at the electrical connector and see how it is set up. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into this family editor. Edit family. We have this fan, and the built-in fan is just a little extrusion with an electrical connection. That's this big circle with a plus, and this is the 3D view. But if you look at just a floor plan view, it's just this symbol, and it's got the electrical connector here. And we can see that better from this view. Click on the electrical connector, and you go over here and look at what's going on. Down here, we have a parent load for phase one, phase two, phase three, because we have it set up as three poles. Now these are grayed out because if you look at the far right, a tiny little equal sign, this is the way that you can associate this parameter within the electrical connection. You can associate it with a family parameter so that you can get to it in your model. So I call it mapping a parameter to the type, or you can say associating a family parameter to the type. So if we click that and it is attached to number of poles. If we go up to the family types, you will see number of poles, the load classification, the voltage, and apparent load. Let's go back here. This apparent load is only reporting phase one as the apparent load, as the apparent power. So again, it's deceiving when you get to the model. What we need to do is this guy right here, power unbalanced. Unbalanced means it's not going to balance or distribute the load across all of the phases, whether it's two or three phases. This needs to be balanced. See, when you click it to balanced, it only gives you one apparent load that it will distribute among all three poles. So if I save it this way and reload it, this is what you would get, and I already have it in here. You will get this guy which looks the same in the model. All of this looks the same. You cannot tell that it's any different until you take this and you connect it to a panel, hit the power, hit P1. I'll go ahead and throw an arc on there. And we'll get this. It's going to automatically assign it the way I have it set up to assign in order. Let's go ahead and tag this guy. It is the next three circuits, 7, 9, 11. So let's see what happened. P1, 7, 9, 11. And there it took our 3KW and divided it amongst all three phases. 
Hey guys, this is Rob. If you're getting anything out of this video, I'd sure appreciate you hitting that like button to spread it to other people that could use it. And also, if you want to hang around and see lots more Revit electrical only content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Sure appreciate that. Thanks, guys. Now, the same thing will happen in a two pole circuit. If you look at something like these two pole receptacles, we have a balanced and unbalanced. If you connect the unbalanced receptacle, and let's look at that. It's a two pole, 208, with a load of 1,000. If we connect this to the panel, power, panel P1, go ahead and get our arc in there so we can tag it. It is connected to panel P1, circuits 13 and 15. Look at panel P1, 13 and 15. There, the unbalanced load only puts it on one phase. Whereas, if you connect one that is balanced, just like I showed in that family editor, I've already changed this to balance, put it into panel P1, and it will have two poles. And in P1, receptacle, Say it's 1,000 is divided 500 and 500 between these two poles. We can move it down to see it a little better there, 500, 500. And then, of course, single pole, single phase, there's nothing wrong with those. It's just one pole, one phase anyway. So just remember, 208 single phase is represented with two pole in Revit. You have to get balanced loads for these to be divided. So if you ever have that problem, open that editor, check out that electrical connector and make sure that it's balanced and just as a final note that's just for loads for electrical equipment like panel boards transformers switchboards they are just passing power through them they're not actually a load they will be unbalanced so that can be confusing as well and i'll just show you that as an example if we go into edit this family of a panel board and if you look at its electrical connector not the square, but the, but the circle. Over here, it will be unbalanced because electrical distribution equipment is an unbalanced pass-through of loads, and it needs to stay that way. So remember, balanced loads is the key. I hope you got something valuable out of this video, and until next time.